The opportunity to play a Disney princess is a career-changing prospect for any actress, and it's almost guaranteed to catapult someone to fame. But these actresses did what many people would call unthinkable — they turned down a chance to play a Disney princess. In 2015, Variety announced that Chloe Grace Moretz had signed on to play Ariel in a live-action version of The Little Mermaid. At the time, rumors circulated that director Sofia Coppola left the project because she wasn't thrilled that Moretz was involved. In September 2016, Moretz announced she had split from all the projects she was currently attached to, and that included The Little Mermaid. Moretz told The Hollywood Reporter that she was starting to forget why she started acting in the first place and wanted to take a step back to regain her focus. She explained, "...so I pulled the plug on all my movies because I want to reassess who I am and find myself within my roles again. I'm realizing that I can slow down." Before Moretz was connected to The Little Mermaid, the rap reported that Elle Fanning had turned down the big-name project. Details are sketchy, but it may be that Fanning decided she would rather take on the mantle of another Disney princess, Aurora, also known as Sleeping Beauty, co-starring opposite Angelina Jolie and Maleficent. Fanning certainly doesn't regret her decision, either. She told Collider that she treasured both the relationship she had with Jolie and the fact that their characters redefined expectations. She explained, "...Maleficent and Sleeping Beauty aren't supposed to talk to each other. They're enemies." But the way it turned out, it's a fresh take on it. For the modern world, we need to have a modern story, and it is. Jolie's daughter, Vivian, plays a very young Aurora in Maleficent, but she wasn't the only Jolie Pitt girl offered a role in the film. According to Jolie, she approached her daughter Shiloh about the part of an older Aurora and got rejected. Jolie told E! Online, "...she laughed in my face. She said she'd be a horned creature." Jolie told Entertainment Weekly that she and then-husband Brad Pitt didn't intend for any of their children to be actors. She explained, "...that's not our goal for Brad and I at all, but it had to be a child that liked me and wasn't afraid of my horns and my eyes and my my claws. We realized that the only four-year-old that would not run away from me was my own daughter. <laughs> Emma Watson made headlines when she put on Belle's iconic yellow ball gown for the live-action version of Beauty and the Beast, but that wasn't the first time she's been involved with Disney. She was one of the lead contenders to play Cinderella in its live-action remake. The role eventually went to Lily James, but that wasn't until after Watson turned it down. In March 2013, Variety's Mark Grazer tweeted, "...Emma Watson has decided not to star in Disney's Cinderella. What he didn't give was a reason." MTV noted that a change in directors significantly shifted the feel of the film. What was an initially billed as a rather dark version of the fairy tale supposedly became more candy-coated. Perhaps that has something to do with Watson's decision to walk away? Beyoncé may not have officially turned down the part of Tiana, the star of Disney's The Princess and the Frog, but one could argue that she disregarded the opportunity, even though she was supposedly the top pick for the part. According to a behind-the-scenes book called Confessions of a Casting Director by casting director Jen Rudin, Beyoncé wasn't willing to audition. The role eventually went to Anika Noni Rose. Rudin told Page Six, "...Beyoncé expected an offer but wouldn't audition, and so she didn't get one." Brave featured Kelly MacDonald as the voice of Princess Merida, but the Scottish star reportedly landed the role only after Reese Witherspoon backed out. Speaking about why she'd initially cast an American to play the part, producer Catherine Serafian told Slash Film, "...the character was less about being Scottish and more about being a willful teenager, and Reese really knows how to play willful teenagers." The director noted that Witherspoon had worked with a dialect and accent coach, but scheduling conflicts prompted her to turn down the part. That might not be the end of the story, though. During a January 2000 2017 interview on a morning news show, Witherspoon appeared to inadvertently blow the lid off that supposed scheduling conflict. I tried to do a Scottish accent once. Really? It was bad. I had to quit the movie. <laughs> Witherspoon didn't confirm that the movie was brave, but if not, Scottish-themed cinema is apparently not her thing. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.